Are you making good beer? And are you making beer that's special and individual? And sometimes you hit the jackpot and you go, oh my God, we've got a hit. And Trooper was that. We started thinking, you know, what else can we do next? So then somebody knew somebody and said, why don't we do a beer with Brewdog? And I went, wow, that's a good idea. Who do we talk to? How well you're doing with Hellcat? You know what the really reaction? Well. It's yeah, part of our, it's part of our core range now. So Great. we've got approachable for the US market. It's just solid. It's just solid. Yeah, it's it's just solid, but boom. it's got the it's got that American pop character to it, which uh, you know people look for in a craft beer. And you so. can drink more of it because you're yeah. not going to be on your back. Yeah. <laughs> I must have been like 13 years old, and I had no idea what alcohol was. I was in a school play. The English teacher came around with this big plastic bottle of woodpecker cider and had like half a little cup and, and said, right, everybody neck some of that. And that was my first experience with the pleasant after effects of alcohol. The variety of tastes and beers were extraordinary. Beer was this world. And then there was the outside world, where you'd go into a pub and there would be four beers and all of them were fizzy, and all of them were tasteless, and all of them were homogenous. And you're like, what's wrong with people? Why are they buying this rubbish? The big breweries were basically squishing all opposition. Slowly, 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 people started turning the tide. But brewing was still a bit of a dark art. Are you making good beer? And are you making beer that's special and individual? So the idea started to germinate that we should expand around the world. I wanted to have the association with Maiden also as identifiable as something brewdoggy. Let's start with aviation. I was an airline pilot for six and a half thousand hours of airline flying. So Valkyrie went around the houses a little bit and then Brewdog came back and said, what about Hellcat? Anyway, it works for me. With Hellcat, we've actually stepped outside the, the Iron Maiden pantheon. And Hellcat's a classic American World War II fighter. I was always seeking out beers that were original, that tasted local or were true to their roots. It's a fascinating world of, you know, of artistry and alchemy and straightforward biochemistry in some cases. You know, brilliant. And, and that's what I love about beer. It's unpredictable. You've got to hope that if Hellcat becomes our kind of, our, our, our base beer, we start with the base and then you go, ah, where should we go next on this little journey? You know, um, where, what, what feels right, you know?